Hi, I'm Tom Borstoff from Van Air Systems and today I'll be showing you how to replace the O-rings on an inlet transfer valve. Let's take a look at the inlet transfer valve seat and seal kit. And that seal kit contains the two shuttle shaft wiper rings, two shuttle shaft O-ring seals, the four shuttle shaft outside O-ring seals, the two Teflon seats for the shuttle, the two O-ring seals for the flange rings, an O-ring seal for the stationary disc on the shuttle shaft, and an O-ring seal for the shuttle shaft end cap. Now to pull one of these apart, you need a fairly decent set of snap ring pliers. Pull the shuttle snap ring out and then the shuttle pulls apart the out internal shaft comes out. Now the main o-rings on this stationary disc are the two outside o-rings on either side of the shuttle shaft and they are the critical ones. They're what keep tower pressure from bleeding back into the control air system. And then there's a o-ring seal on the stationary disc and that's to keep control air pressure bleeding from one side to the other side of the actual air cylinder the shuttle itself so that's the other seal and then on each one of the end caps of the actual cylinder itself there's a wiper ring and then there's an internal o-ring seal so you have to replace both of them again wiper ring on the outside and an o-ring seal on the inside that you have to replace. Now on this particular size valve it's critical that the way this shuttle shaft goes back into the valve body because it looks like that stationary disc is dead center of the shuttle but it is actually not. So after you rebuild the shuttle and you put the shaft back in you'll want to actually take and throw the shuttle shaft both directions and if you've got it in there correctly you'll see that that it stops about equal distance on either side of the shuttle shaft the the shaft has about the same amount of distance on the outside of the shuttle if you actually put it in backwards you can actually see this way if you throw the shuttle shaft you're actually throwing part of the shaft inside the body of the valve if you throw it the opposite direction, you have a lot of the shuttle staff still sticking outside of the valve body. There's a lot more distance there. So that, that's how to tell if you've got the shuttle shaft in backwards. Now, to get the shuttle inside the valve body, you'll have to take and position the position indicator arm until you get it in the middle of the slot of the, two, the shuttle itself. And again, make sure it's on the center then you actually take your two outside flange, Teflon flange rings, put them into the machine groove of the valve body, and took, take your outside flange rings of the valve itself and shide, slide that over the shuttle shaft. And again, uh, you have the shuttle assembled back together, and then you mount your pneumatic limit switch that he, you had removed back on the top of the valve. And that is how you replace the O-rings on an inlet transfer valve. Thanks for watching.